Hey everybody, today we're going to make a vanilla butter cake with a chocolate buttercream. This is a good one. I'm glad you're joining me. Stick around. Let's get started. First, you want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees and prepare three 8 inch round cake pans. You can certainly use 9 inch if you like. I'm using shortening to grease the pan and I line it with parchment paper and then dust with flour. In a large mixing bowl, whisk together three cups of all-purpose flour, four teaspoons of baking powder, and three quarter teaspoons salt. Whisking helps to make sure everything is evenly distributed. Set this aside. In a small bowl or a measuring cup, Combine one and a half cups of milk and two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Set aside. Now comes the fun. In a large mixing bowl, cream together one cup plus six tablespoons of butter. So basically that's two and three quarter sticks of butter. I like to cream this just to get it started. Then to this, I'm gonna add two cups of granulated sugar. Beat this until it's light and fluffy. Even though my paddle attachment has a bowl scraper on it, I still like to get in there and also do it by hand. I really like to scrape the bottom and get the sides really good. Then add four large eggs, one at a time, and you beat well after each addition. Add the flour mixture in three additions and alternate with two additions of the milk mixture, beginning and ending with the flour, which means I'm gonna alternate flour, then milk, flour, then milk, then flour. This really allows the milk mixture to incorporate into the butter and be absorbed into the flour. Just mix until incorporated. Don't overbeat. Look at that, this is looking good. When this is done, I'll scrape the bowl down a final time by hand, just to make sure everything is incorporated. When this is nice and smooth, you wanna divide the batter equally between the pans. You can use a measuring cup, you can eyeball it, or I like to use my scale. Level out the batter. I'm using an offset spatula, but you could also do this with a spoon or rubber spatula. Use what you've got. I like to give the cakes just a little drop, the little tap, this will help any extra air bubbles then in the cake to rise to the top during baking. I'm using baking pan strips. I really feel they help me bake a flatter cake. You soak these in water then put them around your cake pans. Set your cakes on the center rack of an oven at 350 degrees. Bake for 35 minutes or until a toothpick comes out clean or just a few crumbs on it. Cool on a wire rack for 10 minutes. To take the cake out of the cake pan, run a knife around the outside of the cake, then flip out onto a wire cooling rack. 
peel off the parchment paper and let the cakes continue to cool. While I let these cakes cool, I actually covered with plastic wrap just to make sure that the tops didn't dry out while I made my buttercream. Place three quarter cups butter and two and a quarter cups semi-sweet chocolate in a glass bowl. Microwave this for 60 seconds, then stir. Chocolate can burn quickly. It doesn't take much. When you're melting chocolate in the microwave, use short bursts. Microwave for an additional 15 seconds, then stir again. It's really starting to melt at this point, so I'm gonna repeat for one more 15 second interval until the chocolate is almost melted through. I'm gonna finish this stirring by hand until the chocolate is completely melted. Stir in one cup whole milk. and one and one half teaspoons vanilla extract. Sift one and one half cups confectioner sugar. I finished sifting this by using a spoon. That's perfectly fine. Just wanna make sure that there's no lumps in the sugar. Then add the sugar to the chocolate mixture. Stir until thoroughly blended and smooth. I like to add the powdered sugar a little at a time. It gives time for that chocolate to just envelop all that sugar. Cover the chocolate and chill the mixture for 45 minutes. After chilling, beat with an electric mixer. Oh my gosh. Look at this. This is so rich. It reminds me of truffles. This is why, for me, this is a ganache style buttercream. It is so rich and smooth. Set this back in the refrigerator to chill. You're gonna continue to chill and beat every 15 minutes until the chocolate mixture is smooth and spreadable. For me, in this instance, it just took the original 45 minute and one 15 minute chill. One note, use this buttercream immediately. This buttercream gets more firm and less spreadable as it sets, as you'll see shortly. All right, now we're ready to assemble the cake. I'm using a turntable, um, a piece of shelf liner that I cut down to size, and a cake circle. You'll see that beautiful buttercream is a little stiffer than it was before. It's because I waited too long to use it, so no problem. I start working it in small sections with my spatula. Again, I don't wanna overwork this buttercream or it might become grainy. It takes a little patience and a little time, but by using, um, using your spatula or knife or but by getting in there and just working with it, it will become spreadable again getting a little better here. I still just need it a little softer. I don't want to overwork it. So the one thing I did lose is it's not as shiny as it used to be, but the consistency and the taste is still spot on. And I don't want to compromise how this cake tastes. All right, so now Now it's looking a lot better. So I think I've got it just to the point where I can finish assembling this cake. Spread the buttercream out to the edges of the cake. So good. Now 
The cake is so soft you could see it moving. Give it a spin, make sure everything is even. Now it's time to put buttercream on the sides of the cake. Make sure you're pressing the buttercream, pressing into the cake. It's starting to, the buttercream starting to set again, but I am pushing through. I know I can make it. You might have a lip of buttercream at the top. Just take that off. I decided I wanted swirls. So I go back in and add more buttercream to the outside in a swirl pattern. I'm just using a paper towel here to clean off the, the buttercream and the crumbs that fell on the cake circle. Just make it look pretty. And here's the cake. I just love that first moment when I cut into a cake and it's already starting to move because it's so soft. And here comes our first slice. It looks good, but for me, it's always about the taste of the cake on the plate. Here we go. Yeah. Okay guys, um, I've been baking a lot and this cake turned out very well. I wasn't going to jump on camera except for, look at this piece. I've been taking pictures and as I, <laughs> as I take that picture that shows me taking a bite, I'm actually taking a bite and this cake is really good. The, again, it's yellow cake, chocolate buttercream. This cake is very moist and tender. Look at that. And, mm, it's the cake, it's that chocolate buttercream. All of the melted chocolate with the butter and just a hint of confectioner sugar really makes this buttercream if you have a chance to do it. Um, it's kind of late for me here. Um, and I'm supposed to have supper. I was going to have a salad. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to have room. I just, this is a really good cake. Hope you try it. If you do, let me know how you like it. Um, other than that, um, I just, I just hope, yeah, <laughs> I can't talk, this is so good. Anyway, try it, I hope you like it. Ciao. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna make it to that salad. If you like this video, big, give it a big thumbs up below. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. Till next time, ciao!